Trace. Of course, traditionally, it's always 3,000 meters competed at major championships, but we've got a world record attempt. It would be a world best rather than a world record. We've got a couple of pacemakers. Here are the two women responsible for trying to take Beatrice Kepkowicz to a world best performance. Is already the world record holder over the 3,000 metre distance. Picked up a silver medal recently at the World Championships. We'll get to talk about all of her exploits over the next few laps. Five laps, of course. Winnie Jeptimai of Kenya, just 20 years of age. Louisa Geiger, such a great exponent of this event. European champion. Zayez of Morocco. She also goes in this one, as does Mizmas Zemzek of Slovenia. Made the world championship final. National record holder, European record holder over this rarely run distance. Adver Cohen of Israel, 27 year old. She goes in this one as well. Sona Korova of the Czech Republic. Errol, well, she's got a home made number there. The athlete from Turkey. And another athlete from Turkey on the inside, Rukin Tech. So, hopefully, plenty of time to get stuck into this race. 2,000 meter steeplechase. It's going to take two women to help keep Kowicz on her way. Well, we're hoping that we are going to get a world best performance. The two athletes from Poland will be responsible for taking Kip to 800 meters and then 1,000 meters. And we're hoping we can get to 1,500 meters, but let's see how the race unfolds. Hannah, it's one of those events that is rarely run, of course, the 2,000 metres, but it's roughly around about 69 seconds per lap. It's tough because these athletes will be approaching the barrier faster than they'll be used to. Uh, many of the athletes we look to like, sort of, uh, of course, Chuck Coach or Louisa Geiger or Mishmash Rimsek who's, who's up there at the moment there they're used to perhaps a fast championship start or, or a fast burn up at the end so they will have experienced that before but many of these athletes you lock into that personal best pace you know, it could be a phenomenal time something like a 9.10 or a 9.05 and you just run it very very even um, but I was thinking I was looking at the way the pacemakers attacked the first 200 and I thought fair enough here you've, you've got a section of this race it's run without hurdles it's a very this race is going to be over in the blink of an eye. And Beatrice Chepkovic, she skied that hurdle there. She's not comfortable here running really, really swiftly. Um, but she will be very, very keen to take Gazer Krause's world record of 5.52. That is very achievable for Beatrice Chepkovic. And there could be a whole host of national records behind. A lot of these women hold the national record for their nation already. Uh, but I think a, a 2,000 metre steeplechase at this stage of the season is going to be a welcome sight for these women when they're so used to running the full 3,000. But Jep Koec, impatiently already, she goes past the two pacemakers. Well, I'm not surprised because anyone trying to even just get on that pace, you know, you've got to be a very, very good steeplechaser in your own right. And looking at the pacemakers, you know, they have made European age group finals. They've won medals, but nobody in the world can take her further than 600 meters which shows the caliber of this woman of course she is the world record holder that 844 32 it was five years ago and we know she's suffered injuries in the past couple of years Beatrice Kipkowicz was pleased with a silver medal in Budapest she said you know what I'm coming back I'm coming back slowly and she has really built into this year it was a fourth position in the Doha Diamond League, and it was another fourth position in Firenze in that Diamond League. And then she started picking up, didn't she? In London, it was a second position. It was a second position in Budapest, and it was a second position recently in Zurich. But I think as she approaches these barriers now, she's just got to the 1,000-meter mark, and it's 2.51. 
Well, it was hoping to go through in 2.52, so it looks like she's locked on to that pace. And let's just see what she has to do. It's herself and her own ambition now, this last kilometre. A big stutter into that water jump for Jep Koech, but she's miles underneath the world record pace of Geyser Krause of 5.52. When you put two, 251 kilometres back together, you get... 542. <laughs> Whether she can hold on to that, we're going to have to wait and see. But Jep Koech is one of the best 1500 metre runners in a steeplechase field. She's got a really fast 1500 to her name and she's run that consistently over the years, so well under 4.5. And when you've got that leg speed and you look at the record books, I was speaking to her management team in Brussels and they sort of, yeah, yeah this, is, this is a real opportunity for her to run this. We actually saw Beatrice Jep Koech, I think, help with the pacemaking for Faith Kip Yegon in that 5000 metre world record. And she would have gone, that looked like fun I want a bit of that for myself but Jeb Koech this really is just her against the clock and Mishmash Rimsak the best of the rest at the moment she's digging deep there the Slovenian she's in second pace Louisa Geiger going up alongside her so that European record for Geza Krauser 552 that's going to be a target perhaps for Mishmash Rimsak and Louisa Geiger as well but we've also got Winnie Gemitai of Kenya slotted in there the 20 year old she's going to be keeping those two company as well well, really interesting and really important that we don't just focus on Kepkowicz. There's some brilliant women behind her, all trying to run their personal best, national records, like we say, a chance of a European record and a little bit of a stutter again into that barrier. And it's a very, very quick tempo and you can be forgiven for having heavy legs at this stage of the race. As we hit the bell, it was around about 4 minutes 37 so Kip Koet still has that record in sight. Ms. Maz Zemarek also has that European record in sight. Gega already has her Albanian record. Can she improve her own 2,000 metre steeplechase record? As we see now, Beatrice Kip Koet really extending that stride down the back straight. Ms. Maz Zemarek of Slovenia has got a real race on her hands. Second position isn't guaranteed at the moment. But what can Beatrice Kipkowicz do now over this final 200 metres? It's herself against the clock. Let's remember what she has to do. It's 5 minutes 52.80. That record was set in Berlin at 20.19. And she's got around about 20 seconds to go and 90 meters to go. This is going to be a new world best performance for Beatrice Kepkowicz over 2,000 meter steeplechase. Can she obliterate it? Can she make it hard for anyone to beat it? Well, it is 5 minutes 47.43. Absolutely fantastic pace making that first 600 meters. And she carried on with that pace, didn't she? And a world best, taking some five seconds off the previous record. And you mentioned the injury struggles for the Kenyan athlete, for Beatrice Shepkowicz, and it has been fantastic to see her round into form this season and be more competitive and take control of some of those diamond leagues and take control of that final in Budapest. It was a silver medal behind Winfred Yavi of Bahrain. But Jep Koech with this, with a new world best 5.47 to go with her 3,000 metre world record over the back barriers of 8.44. That's wonderful for Chep Koech. And I hope that means we're going to see her for another few years yet on the circuit. And